welcome back to another video. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome John Lacey, the former Marine player and former Tottenham Hotspur star as well. John, Happy New Year to you. Now, last month, the FA Cup draw for the third round was made. Marine v Tottenham Hotspur in the third round, of course, will take place on Sunday, 5pm kickoff, live on BBC One. How did you feel uh, when you saw that draw? Uh, well, I had to double check that it was the Marine I played for, I played for because I think it's the first time they've ever got to the third round. Um, and I played for them a long time ago. It was over 50 years ago. And I say they've never appeared in the FA Cup at uh, this level before. So I, I double checked, but obviously I was delighted for them. John, the uh, the chairman of Marine, Paul, Le uh, Paul Levy, he has said this has got to be our finest moment. You know, he said that even before a ball is kicked. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for a, for a team like Marine, um, there are. You know, I think the stadium only holds 3,000 people. Um, they were an amateur team when I played for them. I think they're semi-professional now. Uh, I mean, it's such a such a such a draw for them. It's just a pity uh, that you know the fans can't go because you know that would be memory for the for the fans as well. But uh, certainly for for Marine, it's the biggest game that they've ever had. John, talk us through your Marine career, because uh, from what I understand, you joined as a 17 year old in 1968. You won the Lancashire uh, Combination Cup with them and the Liverpool Senior Non-League Cup as well. That's right. That was I joined there at the end of, end of that season. Um, we were lucky enough to win those two trophies uh, and I played for them the, the following year, only until September uh, or the end of September, because I came down to London then to go to uh, 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 the London University, either the LSE. So uh, it was quite a short uh, space of time that I was there, but uh, uh, very good memories. John, how will Tottenham Hotspur players feel when they turn up at Marine? You know, it's going to be very, very different to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, as you've seen many times. Um, you know, Jose Mourinho and co, they're used to luxury changing rooms, hot baths, hot showers. How are they going to feel when they turn up at Marine? Uh, well, I... I hope that they've, they've changed things from when, when I was there, because I say it's over 50 years ago since I've, since I've been to the ground. Uh, but the, the uh, changing rooms are behind one of the goals. Uh, and the changing rooms and the showers weren't really a uh, standard that obviously Spurs would, would expect. And we used to, in, in, in uh, those days, share the, share the bath and the showers with the opponents. So that would be a big shock for them if they haven't if they haven't upgraded from that. But uh, I'm almost certainly will have done. John, what sort of team do you think Jose Mourinho will put out of the weekend? Will, will the likes of Harry Kane uh, travel? Because me being a Spurs fan, I'm hopefully I'm hoping that the likes of Hunmin Son, Harry Kane, uh, Tongyon Dombele, Pierre Mihoibi, I'm hoping that they will stay at home. Well, yeah, well, yes. I mean, obviously, it's it's a, it's a it's a fixture that uh, uh, we should win, no matter what team we put out. Uh, so I think he will rotate, rotate and give players a game. Uh, but he might, he might uh, take take one of the strikers up there, uh, you know, Harry or, or, or uh, Son. But uh, you know, it's a great opportunity. You know, we've had a really good good week, and uh, the game on on, uh, on uh, Sunday would be a great end to the week. You know, beating beating Leeds, uh, you know, sort of getting back into the into the uh, uh, league again. Winning, yeah. winning on Tuesday, so we've got something to look forward to. And I think, you know, as I said, no matter what team we put out, I think we'll win. So, you know, we, we progress progress again, so it'll be, be a really good week for us. John, how would you rate uh, Tottenham's season so far? Uh, they're doing really, really well. They look like they've, they've got a, uh, a plan and a shape that, they, that they're playing to, and uh, they're very difficult to beat. You know, they don't let many goals in. It looks like the players have bought into the way that the, uh, that uh, Mourinho wants them to play. Uh, and, of course, with the two legs up front, we've always got chances of scoring goals. And, uh, you know, we've, we're in four competitions and we've got a good good chance in, in, in uh, a couple of them. And I think, you know, hope, keep my fingers crossed, hopefully we'll win some silverware this year. Well, my favourite word, John, is trophy. And, of course, Tottenham have just got to the, uh, the Carabao Cup final, which, of course, will take place in April against Manchester City. But the FA Cup, which uh, we turn our attentions to. Now, Tottenham last won the FA Cup in 1991, 30 years ago. Can you believe it's been 30 years since the club last won the FA Cup? No, it's, it's a long time. But you know what the good, the good thing is? It's that one again. We won it in 81. We won it in 61. We won it in 91. So keep our fingers crossed. Maybe 
2021. Now, John, for you personally, you left Marine, um, you got a place at the London School of Economics, yep. you then went to play for London Universities, and then you met up with George Cohen, who took you to Fulham, and then you signed as a player. Um, you played alongside Bobby Moore, and then also had a teammate in George Best. Yeah, that, yeah that was uh, in, in the early early 70s, I, I signed uh, as, a, as a professional for Fulham. Uh, lucky enough to play with uh, Bobby Moore for two and a half years, which was a great experience. I mean, if you, I remember watching him in 1966, and if you had told me uh, less than 10 years' time I'd be playing alongside him at Wembley, I'd have, I'd have thought you were kidding, you know. But uh, I had a great, you know, he was a great player, uh, very good influence uh, for, for me, and uh, you know, really enjoyed my time uh, playing, playing there and, and playing at Fulham. And uh, at that time, they uh, they signed. Rodney Marsh and George Best, they were both came from America and they had a bit of fun for six months with us. John, you were actually in the FA Cup final with Fulham in 1975. What was it like? I know, sadly, you didn't pick up the winner's medal that day, but what was it like to play in a final at Wembley? Well, I think it's every, it was in those days, the FA Cup was a, a, a big competition to win. Uh, all players wanted to play at Wembley because the only time you played at Wembley in those days was if you were an England international or you got to an FA Cup final. So it was, a, it was a real ambition of most players to play at Wembley and to play in an FA Cup final. Um, and, you know, there was uh, TV coverage all day. There, there used to be um, cameras in the, in, the, in the hotels where we stayed and on the coach when you went, when you went to the game. And it was, a, it was a, a massive day. And funny enough, that was one of the... the I think it was the last time that... Uh, um, there was 22 uh, people from the United Kingdom playing at Wembley in an FA Cup final. Wow. John, do you think that that's uh, a really pleasing thing for us Spurs fans to, to think that someone like Jose Mourinho takes these competitions very seriously? And why do you oh, think yeah. the, the FA Cup has lost its spark and a lot of managers do, do put out a lot of uh, fringe players in these matches? Yeah, I think it's, I think unfortunately it's just the, uh, it's just the, the rewards for staying in the Premier League are so great that uh, the emphasis is is to is to keep the team in in, in the in the in, in the top division, um, and it's such a shame because I mean you know the history of, of, of Spurs with the FA Cup. It's it's a wonderful trophy. The fans love it. Uh, the players the players would, should love it. But as I say, it's lost a little bit of mystique because. All the teams play there now, whereas before it was a real big, big, big thing to got to get to Wembley and play there. And uh, you know, we, we, well, I think that I think you know we've got a good chance of uh, getting there again. Going back to Marine, of course, we, will take place on Sunday. Um, how do they prepare for this game? How do they prepare for the Tottenham Hotspur stars turning up on Sunday? Probably praying. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's, it's a great op opportunity for them to test themselves against one of the best teams in the country. Um, you know, they'll, they'll, it will be something that they'll always be, they'll be able to tell the grandchildren, that they'll be able to say, you know, I played in that day. Uh, it's something that will not happen for them again in their careers or possibly not happen in their careers again. So it's something that they should go out there and enjoy. John, when you played there all those years ago, were, were the back gardens still backing onto the ground? Yes, and they, they used to give you a cup of tea or give the uh, coaches a cup of tea at, uh, during the game. And oh, yeah, it, I, I, I say I haven't been there for over fifty years, so uh, I've, I've seen a little bit on the on pictures that, that the marine people have sent me, and the the, the changing rooms are still behind the goal. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the what the facilities are. Whether there's a stand, whether because there was never a stand there when I was when I played there. So there, there is a stand there. There is a stand there. But um, at the side, you've got every single back garden backing straight onto the pitch, and it oh, seems very very close. Yeah, that's exactly how it was. It is very close. Yeah. Yeah, John, talk me through um, you joining Spurs because, of course, you joined Tottenham in 1978 um, alongside Ozzy Ardiles and Ricky Villa, who, of course, have just won the World Cup with Argentina. That must have been an incredibly mad day for you. Yes, I mean, uh, obviously, they signed in. in uh, Keith was over at the Keith Berkey show, was over in Buenos Aires, and he, and he signed the two of them over there. And uh, I signed uh, just ha by coincidence on the same day. Um, uh, but my transfer fee wasn't wasn't uh, agreed. It was um, there was a new 
a new tribunal that was set up that if your contract had run out and another club wanted to buy you and they, they couldn't agree, you go to the tribunal. So my fee went to the to the tribunal, and, and I think I'm in the Guinness Book of Records for that. The first player ever to ever to uh, uh, have his transfer fee agreed by the by the tribunal. But yeah, playing with the, with, the, with, with, with it was so exciting, uh, thinking that you were going to play with two two World Cup winners. You know, I was very lucky. I, I played with Bobby Moore, uh, so I knew how good you had to be to win a World Cup. And obviously, the two lads were exceptional players. John, of course. Um... With Marine being a non-league team, you faced non-league opposition before as well in the FA Cup whilst playing for Spurs yeah. in January 1979 against Altrincham. Uh, they held us to a 1-1 draw, which, of course, we won the replay 3-0. These, uh, these games against non-league opposition, they're never easy, are they? No, I mean, they're always, they can always be a banana skin. And, uh, you know, I don't think, um, you know, the, the manager and the team that we've got will, will, will uh, allow that to happen. But... You know, all things are possible in football, but it'd be highly unlikely. Do you think that Jose Mourinho go with a fairly strong team, though, just, just to get the job done? Yes, I think, I think it, you know, as I say, I think he'll rotate. He'll rotate uh, but, you know, I think whatever team he puts out, I think they'll be too strong for Mourinho. John, back in your career, um, obviously Tottenham won the FA Cup in 1981. You played in a lot of the earlier rounds, but then uh, got injured and missed out on playing in the final. That must have been very hard for you. Yes, it was. Uh, I played all the games that I could play that year, and then I picked up a, uh, an injury, a thigh injury, which kept me out for about six months. So, yeah, it was very frustrating, but injuries and, and things like that are all part of football. So you just have to accept it. Uh, you know, uh, I was still all a part of everything. Uh, it's just a little bit disappointing, obviously, that you, you, you know, I didn't play. John, what are your real highlights at Tottenham? Because you played alongside some fantastic stars at White Hart Lane. Yes, I mean, uh, we, we, I mean, the, the two highlights was winning the FA Cup twice. Uh, you know, uh, that, 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 it was still a big competition, and, and you know, uh, players still, you know had the ambition to play at Wembley and, and to win the FA Cup. It was one of the one of the sort of bucket lists that, that all players wanted to do to, 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 to do that. Uh, but yeah, the, uh, the the players that we that we had, some fabulous players at Spurs, you know, Ray Clements in goal, you had Steve Berryman, uh, the two lads up front, Glenn Hoddle, uh, Graham Roberts, uh, all wonderful players, you know, and uh, you know, they, they would be good players in, in any era, era as well. I mean, it, it always makes me laugh when they say, you know, the, the, the modern players are better. The modern players uh, maybe, you know, they are, are very good players, but the older players, if you if you put them on a pitch, on the pitches that, that uh, they play on now, we played on, on roll, mud and sand. We played with a heavy ball and, uh, you know, you could kick, as a defender, you could kick the centre forward a bit. You can't do any of that now. So, could you imagine what Glenn would be like now and what Ozzy would be like now playing on those pitches with that ball and not being, being kicked? Oh, it would be, it'd be fabulous. John, when you played, though, back in those days, um, you know, how were... The, the FA Cup was taken very serious, obviously, and, you know, Tottenham wanted to win trophies. You know, what would, what would you say Jose Mourinho would have said to the squad, you know, at the start of this season? You know, does, do you think he sees Tottenham as real title contenders for the Premier League and, and surely he wants to be putting in a, in a trophy in the cabinet this season? Yeah, I, th I think I think that's that's obviously if if uh, we can win the league, that would be that would be tremendous. But certainly to win a trophy, to win the win the Carabao Cup or to win the FA Cup would be would be would be fabulous, you know. And and it gives it gives players confidence, you know. It gives a a, a real boost to everybody because you all of a sudden you've won something, you know. You you're not the the nearly team. We've nearly won it. We've got to finals and we haven't won it. But, you know, they win a trophy and then they can maybe push on from there. But you never know with this season, such a strange season with, with uh, uh, Liverpool getting beat 7-2, you know, Man United getting beat 6-1, then they're both top of the league. So it's a very strange season with, with, with the virus, with, with, with everything that's going on, with no supporters. You know, you look at the, the Premier League and, you know, it's sort of eight points since the first 10 teams, isn't it? So it's, it's up for grabs. I think this year. So and there's, no reason, there's no reason why we why we can't do it if if we keep keep everybody fit and healthy. I was going to say that. Um, do you think that Tottenham will spend any money in this January transfer window? Do we do we need any additions to to really challenge this season? Well, I think if 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 
uh, if at all possible, we you know it's, it's always always good to improve the squad, but uh, whether we have the finances with with with, with all the, all the you know with the virus and with, with what's going on, whether we've got the money to 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 to, to, to do it, you know. It's not for, uh, I wouldn't know the answer to that question, but certainly, yes, if, we, if you can improve all the time, it, obviously it makes, you know, and improve the squad, it makes makes uh, everything much, much easier. To, John, to, back to the uh, the Marine game and final question for you. What's your score prediction for the weekend? I think we uh, uh, we win 3-0. 3-0. I was going to go for 8-0, but perhaps I'm being way over the top. Well, I hope not. I hope you don't get humiliated. Uh, it would be, be nice if they, if they put up a good performance uh, and uh, obviously Spurs win. John, just tell the uh, the Spurs fans watching this, what are you up to nowadays? And I know, uh, of, you know, in the last couple of de- de- uh, sorry, in the last couple of years, you've been um, an ambassador at the football club, you know, talking to fans, you know, b- before and after the matches and uh, walking around the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That must have been a dream job for you as well. Yes, lovely. I mean, the, the club have been very good with the uh, ex-players. There's about a pool of uh, 16, 18 of us, and uh, we 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 do it on a on a on a rotor system. Um, and uh, it's great going to to the stadium. Great, great seeing meeting the, the fans and uh, reminiscing about things and giving opinions about you know ask loads of questions. So, it's it, it, the club are very good in that. that uh, in that uh, manner, and uh, everybody really, you know, all the old players really appreciate it. John, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, I can't believe you're the only player to ever play for both clubs, so enjoy the game on Sunday, let's hope that Tottenham can get the win, and of course, let's hope that Tottenham can lift a trophy this season. Come on, you Spurs. Always well. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, John. Thank you.